All right, thanks so much, Lana. Appreciate that. Finally, a win for the Great Salt Lake this afternoon. The Utah Division of Water Resources sharing some good news about the impacts the rain is having on the historically low lake. Meteorologist Nate Larson is out at the lake to tell us how much it's changing. Nate. Yeah, Glenn, they say, the Utah Division of Water Resources, the lake has risen exactly 12 inches since the historic low mark in early November of last year. Now, we're here at the Great Salt Lake State Park, right at the marina, and if we're going to pan over and show you, yeah, the marina still looks pretty dismal uh, with these water levels that we're seeing, but hey, a foot of new water in the lake this early in the season is a definite win, especially where the last two seasons, we only saw a foot of uh, rise in the overall lake levels, those previous two years. Now, the Great Salt Lake water level will typically rise and fall by roughly two feet each year. So we're already halfway there with spring runoff and inflow replacing what evaporates in the summer. And with historic record low water levels last fall, many of you recall the W.A. Marsh boat wreckage became visible for the first time since it disappeared in 1950. The water line was about to where the W.E. Marsh um, starboard side of the boat was sticking up. In fact, I don't know if it's easy to see with the camera or not. It was like, but we've got a picture here, and then just on this back side, you can see the that's the sand, and then the, it is basically the water line. Yeah, so from what you saw there, now that the water levels have gone back up, the wreckage is once again underwater. Angelique says they still highlight that, of course, as part of the tour that they do here at the state park. Now, more good news. The Division of Water Resources also says that in a good water year, like we're seeing this year, the good snowpack year, lake levels can rise by as much as three or even four feet. Live at the Great Salt Lake, Nate Larson, ABC4 News.